Hi students, today we are going to discuss about structure of C++ in object oriented programming. Structure of C++ contain four sections. First one uh, include file, second is class declaration, third one is member function and definition, the fourth one is main function programming. The first one is include file it contain preprocessor directive preprocessor start with hash the compiler to process some program before compiling the program it contain hash include hash define etc and the head header file contain iostream.h dot h is the extension used here iostream contain the commonly used functions uh, used in C++ like C out C in, and conio.h and the math.h if any mathematical function used we used a math.h then any string functions used we use the string.h and finally we write like this hash include io string dot h and the second section is a class declaration part and it contain a class class uh, class keyword the name of your class then open a brace then write the access specifiers uh, here we write a private access specifier it contain data member and member function and then public it also contain data member and member function then uh, protected it's also contain data member and a member function then after that we close the class with the semicolon then here we are using three access specifiers private public and protected then first of all private the member cannot be accessed from outside the class it defaultly it is a private then public members are accessible from outside the class then protected member cannot be accessed from outside the class however they can be accessed in inherited classes then third one is member function and uh, definition member functions are represented within the class and outside the class then fourth one is the main section that's a main function program main function contain two parts first one is the object declaration part and second is the member function calling member function calling then first of all object declaration part here we represent the object uh, first we write um, member name of your class then object object name then the second one is member function calling the calling by using the object and a dot operator then write your function you are calling name of the function you are calling here dot operator used for calling the function function then now we are going to the example uh, write C++ program to find the area of circle first of all we are writing hash include uh, header file iostream.h then Hash include conio dot h and then the class def class declaration part class your class name so here we are representing so is our class name then uh, write in uh, declaration data member part here int r and float area then write the public part here we have write the function void get data here we want to get the radius value so we write c out 
enter the radius then we are using c in for input the data r then next function is void area for calculating the area of circle area is equal to 3.14 into r into r that is pi r square then c out read the area um, area value that is area is equal to area then close the class after that we are writing main function void main then now we want to declare the object so yeah, our class name is circle then create a object c1 then call calling the member functions using this object c1 dot get data for getting radius value then c1 dot area for finding the area of circle then our output is enter the radius here we are using value 2 then area is equal to 2.56 then 